Greetings from the studio. This is your captain speaking. Aviate Nate here. Today's episode is all about transformation, the kind that turns a 60-year-old airplane into something that feels brand new. I'm talking about the biggest upgrade I've planned for my 1964 Mooney M20E so far, a full panel retrofit. Let's talk details on today's episode of Aviate Nate. Clear to land, runway 21, Mooney 58 X-ray. This is part two of my upgrade series, and we're going full glass flight deck. I'll be replacing my steam gauges with Garmin GI 275s, removing the vacuum system entirely, installing a GMA 345 audio panel, and finishing it all off with a custom cut, powder coated, laser etched panel. When it's all done, my Mooney is going to look and feel like a whole new airplane. Now I haven't had the work done just yet, but it's coming up. The trip is already in the works and I've chosen a very meaningful location to have the work done. Galesburg, Illinois. That's where I learned to fly, where I did my first solo flight and where I logged my first flight as a licensed pilot. Bringing the plane back there for this transformation just feels like the right thing to do. The work will be done by the team at Jet Air who've got a reputation for doing fantastic retrofit work, especially with older aircraft. The process is going to take around four to five weeks. I'll be flying the Mooney out there, handing over the keys and catching a commercial flight back home while the work is underway. Expect a few more videos documenting that trip and the eventual pickup flight when the panel is done. Let's break down the upgrades a little. The Garmin GI-275s are replacing the old round dials. My attitude, heading, and airspeed indicators have all seen better days. These new instruments are compact, feature-rich, and offer incredible clarity. They're going to make all of my flying safer, and they'll be less prone to failure. Next is the Garmin GMA-345 audio panel. It's replacing my current audio panel and adds some significant improvements. Bluetooth audio, intercom features, and a handy playback button if I miss a call from air traffic control. It'll consolidate some of the functions I currently have spread across multiple pieces of hardware and that frees up some valuable panel space. The vacuum system is also getting retired. A welcome change, honestly, that tech is outdated and when it fails, and it will, it can make an otherwise routine flight a lot more complicated. Removing it and going fully electric is a no-brainer for long-term reliability and peace of mind. And lastly, the panel itself. I'll be replacing the vintage plastic panel with a new custom-cut powder-coated panel, complete with laser-etched placards and clean labels. It's going to look incredible, and when I sit behind it, it won't just look modern, it'll feel like my airplane. Now, if you're wondering, how much? <laughs> I'll tell you. This whole upgrade package is coming in at just under $30,000. It's a major investment, no doubt, but I'm not just spending money. I'm building a safer, more capable aircraft that I plan to fly for years to come. And when it's complete, I know I'll look at that panel and think, yep, this is exactly what I pictured when I started dreaming about owning a Mooney. So that's the plan. The parts might already be here by the time you're watching this and the schedule is locked in. Galesburg, I'm coming back. If you have comments, questions, or just wanna talk avionics, I'll see you down in the comments. Until next time, this is Aviate Nate, and you can be my wingman anytime. Clear to land, runway 21, Mooney 58 X-ray.